Hey everybody, this is Sharif from ShreveJackson.com. Um, just wanted to go a little more into the iPad review. I did the unboxing previously. Um, now I'm going to do a bit on the smart cover um, and on some of the speed improvements uh, with the A5 chip. So first I got the smart cover right over here. Um, decided to get gray, the polyurethane. Um, so right here on the right side here is the magnets. Um, and as you see, this sort of folds back and forth. The, other, the magnets that align with are on the left side of the iPad. So literally, if I bring this over, you know, ever so slightly, it just clicks to it. And, you know, has a pretty perfect fit. Um, and it does sleep the screen. So if you look, you'll see it wake up and go back to sleep. So that's pretty cool because you avoid having to use the, uh, you know, power off button, which normally puts it in standby. Um, and the cool thing is, you know, you can either just fold this back if you just want this to lay on the ground um, so it doesn't scratch the back. Um, or you can fold it sort of halfway on the back. If you wanted to shoot video, you still have access to the camera. Um, or you can fold this in a little triangle and use it as a typing stand. Um, and yeah, that uh, is there. Um, so that's the smart cover. Um, pretty good, really light, doesn't really add weight um, like the original iPad case. Um, I would say don't get the leather. I think that's a little for double the price. It's a little too much for that, but that's up to you. Um, so let's go into some of the speed improvements. Um, so this is the site here, and as you can see, I have about nine websites up. Um, now, let me just start to go through them, and you'll see that they're not loading or reloading. They're all cached into memory. Um, with the iPad 1, if I had this many... Whoops, didn't mean to press that. Um, but with the iPad 1, if I had this many sites up... Um, it would definitely reload these tabs as I clicked on them because it could only keep a certain amount of tabs in its memory at once. Um, but with this, it's pretty good. Um, and this is true even if I'm multitasking. So I, so I brought up the multitasking bar on the bottom. So if I go to the Washington Post, you know, I can scroll through, go to different sections, click on the story here. Oh. Well, I guess I haven't registered, but uh, I can do that. But um, I can go to YouTube here, start to play a video on why the Miami Heat are crybabies. Um, I can stop that. Go to the App Store, um, where I have like 58 apps to download. Um, and I can do all that, go back to Safari, and these tabs are still up which is really really great to me because one thing I really hated about the original was that yeah I could multitask but if it's reloading the tab especially if I'm like typing something in a comment box um, or just don't want to refresh the site um, like if I somehow go offline and I need to still access those sites um, I wasn't able to do that so, once again, that's um, the smart cover and the speed improvements um, as it relates to Safari and multitasking. Um, next video, I'll probably go over some gaming. Um, and that's Sharif. Uh, once again, my site is sharifjackson.com where you can view my original unboxing video here when, when I first got it and also read through other posts that I made. Um, thanks, and uh, talk to you later.